Hey guys, welcome back to Tisha Tidies Up and a big hello to all you newcomers. Today I am tackling my kitchen and pretty much organizing everything from top to bottom. I'm going to be breaking this down into two parts. This first part, I'm going to be showing you guys how to organize your kitchen drawers and all the items that I use for that. And then my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to organize your kitchen cabinets and what I do with a small space for my pantries. So I'm going to be showing you guys a preview at the end of this video. So definitely stick around. And if you have yet, hit those notification bells and subscribe button. So you guys can see that I have tons of post-its all over my kitchen. And the reason I did this is because I planned on moving a lot of items around throughout my kitchen. And so I just wrote down where everything was on a post-it. And then I started moving items around, kind of playing with different ideals until I found out what I liked in my kitchen. This way I was kind of able to see it in my mind instead of moving items around and liking it and having a complete mess to deal with and having to keep moving items around. So I just thought this was a great idea to kind of picture everything in my mind before I really got started. I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but looking at a process like changing your kitchen around and reorganizing can seem so daunting. So I really decided to just start making a game plan and that's kind of where I went with the post-its and then deciding what my goals were and how I wanted it all to look and then um, all the supplies I would need. So kind of just breaking it down into little sections and then that way I was kind of even able to break it down into sections of organizing. That's why I decided to do drawers first and then work on my cabinets and then I also broke those down into areas before instead of taking everything out at once I just kind of worked in areas like right now I'm organizing you wouldn't believe four junk drawers okay we had four junk drawers in this house so I am pulling out everything out of all four of these drawers because they're pretty much literally, like I said, junk drawers. So I want to organize everything and come up with a system that's going to work. Um, where I had my utensils at is a lot smaller drawer than these drawers. And the um, tray that I got for our utensils is large and it will not fit in those drawers. So this first drawer I am working on, I'm going to be clearing it out to put our utensils and as you guys can see, I'm using a paintbrush. That is an awesome little broom tool I found out um, for drawers and small reach places. So I'm just like kind of sweeping those out. But what I'm really gonna do is just clear out all of this junk, like I said, organize it, and then I'm gonna grab my organizers and kind of decide how I want everything to go. Like I said, I'm gonna have one of these drawers, my utensils, and then I'm probably going to make this drawer right here for my hand towels and my mittens and then I'm going to leave these last two drawers as my junk drawer but I do want to organize them in a better fashion than what I had just literally everything thrown in there. <laughs> As I was going through these drawers, I was finding so many things I had forgotten were even in here. So I just kind of decluttered everything. If I hadn't used it and completely forgot it was even in there, it probably wasn't that important. So I definitely put some stuff in the giveaway pile 
Um, and if you're wondering what these weird dots are and everything in here, um, I was keeping my garden seeds actually in here. So a lot of them had spilled. So I'm going to kind of pick those up and hopefully be able to keep those <laughs> for this summer. But anyways, looking at all this junk up here, I kind of want to sort everything um, but before I get to sorting these, I want to clean up all of the drawers and all I did was use some of my method cleaner after I kind of swept up everything and got all of the crumbs. And then once that is done, I'm going to start with these last two drawers. Um, like I said, those are going to be my junk drawers. So I want to start organizing these first. That way I am able to get a lot of this stuff out of the way and off these counters. Here's a quick look at some of the items that I got to organize my drawers. The clear bins I ended up grabbing at Marshalls and then the bamboo divider I had grabbed at Walmart. So now I'm just putting them in the drawers making sure everything fits and then I was very happy to find out I could fit a couple into this drawer. So I am just going to start putting everything in as I wanted it. I pretty much got everything sorted and for a tip for you guys. Um, like I do, I sort everything into three groups as I'm going through it, um, what I want to keep for sure. And then things like as I was going through these drawers, there had th been things that I hadn't seen in such a long time. And I just thought to myself, if I forgot that I even had it, do I really need it? And is it taking up space? And for items like that, I just put in the donation pile and then things that were broken or couldn't be reused or anything like that, I put in the garbage pile. So it definitely makes going through items a lot quicker and then kind of just organizing my items as I go, putting all my cords together, all my batteries together and such tools together. That way when I go to put them in the bins, I can just pretty much grab and just put everything where it goes and it can go much smoother than trying to find the cords as I'm going here and find out where all the batteries are just kind of pre-organizing before I put everything into the drawers. I'm loving the end result for this. I was able to put so many things in different areas and little compartments. I was a little bit worried about consolidating four junk drawers into only two, but with these storage bins, they made it so much easier and to look a lot more organized. I'm able to go in there and grab what I want or know exactly where to put it back at. Um, just like a little tip when you guys are looking to organize your drawer kind of just look at the size of your drawers and kind of look at how much stuff you need to organize and how you want to organize it before you go and pick the storage that you want there are so many different options out there i know i got movable bins for my tea drawer you guys will see here in just a few seconds and i was able to adjust exactly how i wanted them in that position instead of how these ones are kind of just stuck here but again they worked exactly for what I wanted them for so just kind of do your research before you go out and buy and figure out how you want to organize your drawers so moving on to the next drawers I just want to wipe these out real quick um, I know drawers often don't get cleaned as much as they should. So now that I have a second to make sure they're wiped down, I really just want to take that extra time. And then after that, I'm just going to put some easy grip into this drawer because I'm going to start moving my utensils over here. I found this really cool utensil tray 
at Amazon and I'm going to put the link below just in case you guys want to find it as well. Um, I just figured it would save so much space and I'd be able to put so much more into this and look a lot more organized than what I have as you guys can see. I know a lot of times you want to keep your utensils and everything close to your stove and your sink but honestly for me the extra two steps that it's going to take to get my um, utensils is definitely going to be worth having them organized and being able to see everything instead of having them cluttered into that one little tray. Another great tool to utilize in your kitchen drawers are dividers. You can use these for so many different things. I ended up using mine to divide my hand towels and my oven mittens. Instead of just throwing them together and having to rummage through them, I was able to kind of sort them and make them look more uniform just with this divider so it is even though it's just something simple it can make the biggest difference and you can use this for so many different purposes throughout your kitchen drawers now that the utensils are all pulled out of this drawer i decided that it would be a great ideal to make this into a tea drawer after seeing a lot of ideals on pinterest for this and all of the tea that we go through in our house i thought it would just be a great ideal to make our own tea drawer as well as it just looks really good i think so i am using all different types of storage bins that way i can organize a lot of my teas into my green teas, sleepy teas, energy trees, and I can just go directly to where I need to go. Plus, honestly, I just think it is just a really cool look to have your teas put this way. Um, I will put a link in the description to all these different bins as well as a link to my haul video if you guys just want to see more in-depth um, details about all of my storage bins. Now moving on to the drawer where I used to have my oven mitts, I was wondering what I was going to put over here and I just figured looking at my storage baggies, I figured it was a perfect area to have all of this and everything fit like a glove. It was almost like a match made in heaven to have these items over here. And then I'm going to show you guys my smaller drawers. Most of the time these stay pretty organized. I just keep all of my restaurant condiments up on the top drawer my second drawer i have my seasoning packets and i almost was gonna put these up in my cabinet but this works a great for our family and it doesn't take up a bunch of space and that's just extra space i can have in my cabinets the same with all of these baking items i don't do a lot of baking so this is just a perfect little area to keep everything organized down there and now just looking at the before shots, you can see 
how again everything was such a mess and now afterwards I have everything so organized hopefully it stays like this for a long time and again I just want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video and again if you haven't yet to hit that subscribe button and notification bell you are going to want to do that right now you do not want to miss my cabinet organizational video guys it is going to be epic um, I am moving so much items around and using a lot of different storage materials that you guys do not want to miss so here is the preview of what is to come in a few days. Mm -hmm.